What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Hassan Reddick. I know we talked about him yesterday, but guess what? Hassan Reddick has a new agent after he was dropped by his old agency, and this new agent is looking to get a deal done with the New York Jets. Today's video is powered by BetUS, the official sports book of the channel. Sign up using promo code YouTube150 and receive a 150% match deposit bonus on your first deposit up to $2,000. Today, I want to take a look at this game that the New York Jets play tonight against the Buffalo Bills. Bills slight favorites, but if you think the Jets are going to win, I think the Jets win. They are even money on the money line, so plus 100. So... Keep it nice and simple. Bet 50, win 50, place bet. There we go. Confirm. Now you placed your bet on the New York Jets to beat the Buffalo Bills. Sign up using promo code YouTube150 and get in on the action. Ian Rappaport tweeted earlier today that Hassan Reddick has hired agent Drew Rosenhaus and Ryan Matha as his new agents. And Rosenhaus says he will meet with the Jets before the game tonight to begin the process of resolving the situation and ending the holdout. Hey, there we go. Some potential good news on this front. It seemed like there was no end in sight for the Hassan Reddick contract situation. I don't know where you guys stand, but where I am right now, I'm like, I'll believe it when I see it. So if if we get the news, hey, Hassan Reddick and New York Jets ag agree to a reworked one year deal, you know, then I'll start to believe. But right now, this is just these are just words. <laughs> these are just words to me. Uh, I will say, though, this next quote. Uh, Adam Schefter shared the quote in, in a tweet, and this one scares me slightly. I'll talk through it. But he says, uh, we look forward to working with the Jets to get resolved, to get this resolved as soon as possible. Rosenhaus said, Hassan would like to be a New York Jet for years to come, and our goal is to make that happen. Okay, I don't want Hassan Reddick to be a Jet for years for, for life, by the way. I, I've remained pretty firm on what my stance should be, that they either rework the money for 2024 or or you maybe tack on the additional year in 2025 to align with this window of opportunity. I don't want to give Hassan Reddick a three or four year deal and he's under contract until 26 or 2027. That's that's not what the Jets should be doing, especially after this holdout. Uh, I think you want to keep him motivated. I don't think you want to give him the long term security because I, I don't know if that's the, the guy you want with long-term security. I, I think if he's playing for that next contract, that keeps him a little bit motivated and you know keeps him up, up to speed. If he's kind of just mailing it in after cashing in on a big four-year deal close to $100 million, well, then you're SOL the next three years on that deal rather than, hey, it's, you know, it's a one-year deal, it's a prove-it deal, and now he's going to go out and have, I don't know, how many games are left? 11 games probably by the time he plays. Eight sacks in 11 games, something like that. And it's like, oh, hey, he's, he's going to get a big contract from someone after all. The wild part of all this, I shared it before, but Hassan Reddick up until this point through the first five games of the year has lost $12.2 million. That's almost what his whole salary was supposed to be this year. It was 14 to five was what he was due to get from the New York Jets. And that clearly is not going to be the case if he just plays on the deal you'll be playing for essentially what two million dollars which is clearly not going to be the case they i my thoughts is they will rework the deal and it's likely to be just a deal for this year who knows maybe the jets do cave and make it multiple years i'm just saying that that scares me a little bit i really don't want to go beyond anything in 2025 um but that's kind of where i'm drawing the line for the who cares crowd, Hassan Reddick does make this team better. I, I, I don't know how you can't how you can argue against him not making the team better. Uh, Eleven plus sacks each of the past four years, sixty plus pressures each of the last two years, and you currently have Michael Clemens playing fifty three point seven percent of snaps. That's he's essentially he is the starter opposite of Will McDonald. It stinks that Jermaine Johnson went down with an injury in week two and his season came to a close. Uh, but for the last, what, three weeks, the Jets have been rocking with, you know, Michael Clemens and Will McDonald. And McDonald's been good. His his sack numbers are high. He's got, you know, six sacks on the season. Really looking forward to what he's, you know, what he's done so far this year and how he finishes this year is going to be really exciting for his growth. But, you know, this just adds an extra element to this defense. If you could have any criticism of the Jets defense so far, sure, people are going to bring up the, the run defense. And I think 
that in, in week one, they were pretty poor. Since then, I think they've gotten better at it. Um, but to me, the, the pressure is, has been inconsistent. I thought against Denver specifically and Minnesota, the two games they lost, they really weren't getting much pressure. Um, I know they had some sack numbers against Sam Darnold, but those felt like more coverage sacks. It wasn't like, you know, Sam was just under duress all day long. And adding Hassan Reddick to that, yeah, you're going to need it. Like, you need a guy like that to go opposite of Will McDonald when you're playing the elite teams. If the Jets want to believe that they are a playoff team this year and there's a long way to go, you need a Hassan Reddick to close out a game against a Buffalo or a Kansas City or a Baltimore or, you know, whatever insert team here, Houston. So that's why I think they are going to eventually get something done here because they could use him on this roster. The question then is going to become, well, can they add both Hassan Reddick and Devontae Adams? And the answer is likely yes, but they'd be forced to restructure some people, I would imagine, because right now they're listed as like $17 million in cap space, depending on what they do with Hassan Reddick, right? Like he's likely to eat up a big chunk of that. And then it comes to question, what, what are the Jets going to be able to do to land Devontae Adams? But um, we reported yesterday or, you know, talked about yesterday a report that uh, it feels like it's you know the New York Jets are bust for Devontae Adams right now the you know the Saints lost their car for the next few weeks uh, maybe the the Ravens or the Bills could still be involved but the Jets have been the team that's been talked about the most so I would love it for the vibes yeah absolutely get, get Hassan Reddick and Devontae Adams in here and push your chips to the table and, and try to win the Jets haven't made the playoffs in in 14 years Go for it, dude. <laughs> like try try to make sure that you're you're guaranteed to to get in. So it all starts tonight. They need a win tonight before we could worry about adding potentially a Hassan Reddick or a Devontae Adams. But just wanted to come on and, and talk about the most recent story with the New York Jets from this morning. Guys, please make sure to subscribe if you're new. Thanks again to BetUS for sponsoring, and I'll catch you next time. 